This is amazing. Now we have Grok1, an open source large language model released by X or Twitter. It is a 314 billion parameter model, mixture of experts model. This is not fine tuned for instruction following yet. And it is released under Apache 2 license. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Grok1. You can see that Grok1 beats GPT 3.5, but still it's lower compared to GPT 4 and Cloud 2. This is based on these benchmarks. The Grok chat on Twitter is powered by Grok1. We are going to explore this further and going to test this model for coding. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. The Grok code is open sourced in GitHub. So you should be able to see all the code to understand how it's built. You can also start using this model on your computer. It is available in Hugging Face. But you might need multiple GPU machine to run this model because it is of 314 billion parameters. You can see the specifications here. It has eight experts where two active when generating a response. It contains 64 layers, 48 attention heads for queries, eight attention heads for key values, maximum sequence length or the context is 8192 tokens. Now we are going to test this model for its coding ability. Just to note that the Grok version which we are going to test is instruction fine tuned. But when you download from Hugging Face, it is not instruction fine tuned. So first Python, very easy task, return the sum of two numbers. So we are asking Grok to create a function to return the sum of two numbers. So copying the instruction and asking Grok and it's generating the response. So now we're going to test this and clicking the check and it is a pass. Next going for easy challenge, asking it to create a function to find the discount. So going to copy the instruction and now going to ask Grok to create the function and copying the answer now and going to test it now and it is a pass. Next going for the medium challenge, create a function to convert from digital to analog. So going to copy the instruction and asking Grok. Now Grok is generating the function. Now we are going to test it and clicking check. And it's a pass. Next going to Python hard challenge, find domain name from DNS provider. So requesting Grok to create a function to find the DNS name. Copying the instruction and asking Grok. Now it's using socket module. Now I'm going to copy this and test it here. Clicking check. Seems like an error there. Copying the error and asking Grok to fix it. So it's changing the version to Python 3.5. So going to copy the code and testing it again. And it's a pause. So probably the test console is using older version of Python. Now Python very hard challenge, creating a function to generate identity matrix. So copying the instruction and going to ask Grok to generate the function and it's generating now. Now going to copy the generated function and let's test it here. It passed most of the tests, only the final bit. So I'm going to try again by copying the error message and asking Grok to fix this. Now got the answer. Let's test this now. And it's a pause. Probably again because of the older Python version. Next, let's try expert level challenge. It's good to see that it passed still very hard. Let's do the final test. The ECG sequence. So requesting Grok to create a function to generate the ECG sequence. Copying the instruction and asking Grok to generate the function. Now it's searching and here is the answer. It also gave the source from where it took it from. So going to copy the function and going to test it here. So gave an error because it took long time to process the request. So going to copy the error and asking Grok again. It's searching again in Twitter or the X. Please provide your request again. Going to give the same instruction again with the error code. Now it's again generating the function. Let's try the final time. Clicking the check button. And again, it took longer than 12 seconds. So I'll give this a fail. In regards to logical and reasoning, GSM 8K dataset is specifically for that. And we can clearly see that Grok1 is better than Llama 270B, Inflection1 and GPT 3.5. Also, it's better in math as well compared to all these models. 
I'm really excited about this considering this is open source and we saw the programming capability that it was able to solve till very hard challenge. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, even testing the model by downloading locally from Hugging Face. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.